Welcome to CoolTopShop.com and our two minute tutorials. This is part two of the basic text effects lesson. Let's zoom in to see what we're working on better by clicking on the zoom icon plus button right here in the right toolbar. I want to add a font outline. So I'll click on the first line of text. For the outline color, I'll choose navy. You can enter a number into the font outline and click up on the up arrow a few times to create the outline. You can also enter a number into the font outline box. I'm going to enter four. This will save a few steps. Now we want to do some basic text shapes. Click on the line of text you want to alter and select a shape from the shape drop down menu box. I'm going to choose archway. Suppose you want to stretch or condense your text. By default, the width and height positions are locked, so they're stretched uniformly. To resize freely, just click on the padlock icon here. Then resize the text as you want. Stretch it, condense it. Let's click on the next line and for the shape I'm going to do bulge. We can adjust the amount of bulge by clicking the up or down arrows. Let's click that up a few times. Click on the last line of text. Let's change it to red, give it a Kelly green outline, and let's use the curve effect. As you can see, it takes a while to make any sort of modification using the curve arrows. So let's go ahead and enter a number. I'm going to enter minus 80. You can also change the spacing of your text. Let's go ahead and do that a couple times and spread it out a little more. Now let's rotate the text. There's two ways to do that. The little rotate icon here at the top of your element box. You can grab that and rotate it where you want to be. Or over here under size you can use the nudge factor. For more video tutorials visit CoolTopShop.com and find out how to create cool, unique and easy to design custom apparel.